Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in this postman course. Today I am going to talk about another type of authorization which is present in postman known as digest auth. Now we will see how it is different from other authorization types but we have already spoken a few authorization types like the OAuth 2.0 authorization, the API key authorization, the bearer token or the credentials, right? So these are the few uh, authorization types which we have already spoken of. Now let's see what is digest auth and how it is different from other authorization types, okay? So in this type of authorization, the client sends a first request to API, okay? And when the server receives this request, it returns a 401 unauthorized response now you will ask me um, uh, if it is not able to authorize then how it works right because it is returning me a 401 uh, error code right which means uh, it is a unauthorized response right so the authorization was not successful but the speciality with this type of authorization is you need to send another request to the server right because the server is going to return you some other details along with the 401 unauthorized response it is going to return some details like a nonce right so this nonce is a unique key it could be a numeric key or it could be alphanumeric key and this is returned by the server right and there is also a realm value right so with the combination of these two values you can actually authorize your request okay and you are going to uh, need these two values when you are going to uh, send a second request to the server okay so uh, the request needs to be resent uh, to the server right uh, and it will be a form of encrypted array of data including a username and password combined with the nonce and realm values okay so these are uh, the values or data which you need to provide to the server in order to authorize your request for that particular application okay and this is known as the digest authorization which means you need to send multiple requests to the server in order to authorize your uh, request okay the server basically uses this uh, data which you have passed right with the request to generate an encrypted string and then it compares it against what was sent to authenticate the request okay so uh, as you can see it's a more robust kind of authorization because it is using multiple levels of uh, authorization right uh, it uses different values which are uh, encrypted uh, you know and also you need to send multiple requests in order to get those values and then authorize your request okay now you will see there are uh, lots of moving paths here but postman makes it easy uh, to use this particular authorization and we are going to see how so uh, let's go back to our postman so i'll be using uh, the postman web okay so for this particular request uh, i am already in my workspace uh, and i have got a collection but here uh, i'm going to add another collection okay and uh, we are going to use uh, api server which is the eco right uh, eco.com and this is a server which is hosted by postman itself in order to you for you to practice different api requests okay so uh, we are going to call it the eco collection and we are going to add a request to this okay now uh, let's go ahead and add a new request here right i'm going to call it digest auth okay and in the request url right so we are going to say https so it will be eco.getpostman.com slash digest auth right so uh, this is an endpoint which is secured by the digest auth right so you need to authorize it with this particular kind of authorization okay so uh, this is going to be this particular get url okay so this is the request url and then we need to select the authorization type okay and here it is this digest auth as you can see right so as soon as you select this particular authentication type right you will see uh, 
in this section you need to provide a username and password okay and then in advanced sections you will see there is a realm value a nonce a algorithm in order to encrypt right uh, and then there are some other values but uh, you don't need to worry about these postman will take care of all of these values and we'll see how okay but uh, we need to enter the username and password okay so uh, the username will be postman and password is password okay so simple credentials once you do this right uh, you don't need to worry about this advanced sections now i'm going to tell you how postman is going to take care of all of these okay uh, but as you see on the left hand side right so there is another option which is the yes disable retrying this request okay now you can also read in this section that by default postman will extract values from the received response add it to the request and retry it so do you want to disable this so as we will see later when we send this request postman is doing all the tasks in the background right so it is going to extract all these values which is the realm value and the nonce value which will be passed from the first response right it will extract all the values and then it will add it to the request and then it will do a retry of the same request right so you don't need to do it manually or by any other script postman is going to do that for you okay so you don't even need to extract these values now if you don't want postman to do that you there is also an option where you can disable retrying the request so postman will just send the request and you will get a unauthorized response but then you need to write the script in order to extract all these values which is the realm value and the nonce value and then send a second request in order to authorize your first request okay so uh, saying all that let's see how this particular get request will work right so we have entered the username and password and now we are going to send the request okay okay um so this url has changed so let's change this right okay uh, let's try it again and you will see that uh, it returns authenticated true now obviously uh, you were not able to see what happened in the background like where postman uh, extracted those values and uh, postman also sent a second request in order to authorize this request but you just provided the url and the username and password and postman took care of all the other background tasks okay now we were talking about uh, the other values right which the request or the server returns when you send a particular request which uh, is using the digest auth right so let's see that uh, and how we can see that we'll disable retrying the request okay so select this option and now let's send this request okay now you will see the response is different okay uh, because we are not using the feature which is provided by postman by, for retrying the request so it is giving us an unauthorized response right uh, which is a 401 status okay and if you want to find the values which uh, the server is returning you have to go to the headers section right and in this headers you will see there is a www authenticate header okay and this particular header key contains all the values which is being returned by the server okay so as you can see uh, digest realm equals to users and nonce is some value okay some randomly generated value by the server also there is a qop which is auth so these are the values which is being returned by the server and if you want to authenticate your request you need to add all these values into your request and retry it again and that's what postman is doing for you okay 
now you can also do it manually as I said right or you can do it through the script so just take these values right digest realm is users so put it here and nonce is this so put it here okay and uh, once you put this right and retry or send the request again you will see the status is 200 okay okay which means the authentication was successful right so this is our response which is saying authenticated true right so uh, we need to use this realm and nonce value and send it again okay so uh, this is how you can use digest auth in order to authorize your request to the particular application server which is using this type of authorization right so if your application is using this you can easily authenticate your request using postman